everyone welcome back to my channel hope everyone is doing fantastic i have here a um, requested video by many of you on my bracelet collection so i'm finally getting around to that thank you so much for your patience and um let's get started okay these are all in no particular order a lot of this i've had for years and years and some you know few from the past year haven't bought a lot of jewelry lately though so but here we go and if I can remember names or where I got stuff from I'll let you know I have this beautiful bracelet here which has different colors of stones this came from TJ Maxx I think it was last year I got this it's very very pretty I love this you will see a lot of silver jewelry I do have some gold but I mainly wear silver Okay, I might have to go through these pretty fast because there is a lot of bracelets. We will be here all day long. <laughs> okay, we have this Juicy Couture. Has all the letters on there. This came from Ross. This is in a gold color. I think I have two of these. Oh. I have this one. This one's a little Mickey Mouse. It says mom on there. This came from my daughter. I don't know if you can see that. Heck, I can't see that. Okay, I love this beautiful. Sorry, I had to put it up to my eyeballs. <laughs> but this is so pretty. Um, let's see. Next, we have this bracelet. It has a lot of different little charms on there. not sure where this one came from I can't remember but I get a lot of bracelets from like uh, Ross and TJ Maxx different stores like that I have this one This one came from Ross. And next, we have this one that says blessed with a cross there on a heart. Orange blank. And um, I love it when these bracelets adjust this way. Let me do the slider. I have this one. It's really pretty. It's a cross. It's very sparkly. I'm not sure where I got that one from. This one is a Juicy Couture. As a heart. This came from Ross. A lot of Juicy Couture bracelets come from Ross because they always have some pretty ones there. A very reasonable price, too. This one's really pretty. Let's see. It says Lucky. It has like little good luck charms on it. There's a horseshoe. I don't remember where that one came from. This one I've had on in some of my videos. This is little dogs. It's so cute. You have a little paw there. It says woof. Woof. Best friend. Little angel dog. Really cute. I love this one. It has a nice sparkle to it. And this one, I believe, is Betsy Johnson. It's really pretty. Here's another Juicy Couture. 
the big heart and the little banner style bar thing. Here's another Juicy Couture with the 3D bubble type heart. This one's a guess. This came from I think this came from Ross. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Or it could have been the guest outlet store. That might have been. Here's one that is Jade. Jade beads. Pretty heavy. That's a stretchy bracelet. This is a Betsy Johnson bracelet. I have the matching necklace to this too. Have, I haven't worn this one. It's really pretty. I have my initial. I love the little clasp thing on this, like snaps in together. This is really pretty. I love all the blue. I don't think this has a brand. I don't think this was a brand. I think this came from either TJ Maxx or Ross. This is a silver um, Juicy Couture. Really pretty because I don't see many bracelets in silver. I mean, you know, Juicy Couture bracelets. So the ones I have found, I grab. Here's another Juicy. Another Juicy. Let's see, this one is Juicy also. This is like rose quartz or something, if I can remember right. It's hard to tell. It looks lighter in the pic in the um, camera. God, I think I've had my phone crooked the whole time. Sorry about that. Here's another juicy. This one's gold. Really pretty. This is Betsy Johnson. Y'all seen this over the years. I've worn this off and on in some of my videos. I love the little ballerina, little ballet shoes. This is such a pretty little girly bracelet. This one needs to be cleaned. This is all tarnished. It's usually silver, real pretty silver too. And these are all like really blingy pink. My goodness, it looks like brass or something but it's actually silver these are peridot stones i mean this is my daughter's birthstone and this is a i think this was the lucky brand I believe it was bracelet and we have here a those little gummy bear looking things. Um, Betsy Johnson bracelet. It's a little love bracelet. This is like a rose gold color. These have a bunch of little charms on there. Not sure where this one came from. It's really cute. This one's really pretty. I got this one from an antique store. There was a lady there selling a bunch of handmade bracelets. And I really like this one. Cute little pearl type one. This is another one. This is real pretty silver when it's in the silver cleaner. 
I just didn't want to have to put them all in there. I'm sorry to do the video. This is one of them Catherine. Oh, I can't remember say her last name. Starts with a P. Pops. Popisco or. Oh, sorry, y'all. I know I'm butchering that name. Let me see if I can. It is hard to see this. Let's see if you can. I don't know if y'all can see that. Sorry, my fingers is so dry. I have not been putting my cuticle, I mean, like that oil stuff and that stick I normally use. I haven't used all weekend. I can definitely tell the difference when I don't. It makes a big difference. I got this one and this blue one. But this, the goldenness is like that antique gold look. This is just a pink clear kind of bead one. Okay. So I have this silver, sterling silver. I have this. I've had this probably for about oh, 12, 13 years. It is a Swarovski. Yeah, I believe that's what it is. Came in this pouch. Yeah, that's the name. The pouches. These pouches collect so much dust and stuff. The only thing I hate about velvet. Yeah. But this thing is so old, but it looks like it did the day I got it. So pretty. And this, got this off Amazon. My husband has the other one, because this one says his queen, and his says her king. <laughs> That's off Amazon. This is a Betsy Johnson bow bracelet. Really cute. If you like something a little extra on your wrist, this is it. <laughs> a pretty bold statement there. This is a Michael Kors. I love this. Here's a guess. It's like a pinkish peach color with silver. It's so pretty. I wish you could see this in person. This is absolutely gorgeous in person. It's so sparkly and the colors are so beautiful together. And this is a Kirk's Folly. This is one of my favorite bracelets right here. I love this. It's so pretty. I believe this came off QVC. Here is another Michael Kors. This thing is really bulky. I don't wear it. I think I've worn it one time, but it's very bulky. It's very heavy. But it's such good quality. It's so pretty. It also came... Um, and it's on little pouch. And I have this brown beaded bracelet. It's really pretty. I have this bracelet. I, oh, I don't remember where this, I think this is Guess. Not sure. It's a little denim. I've had that for about 15 years, probably. This is just a little handmade bracelet. Really cute. Here's another. This bracelet stretched out. I can no longer wear this because the band in it stretched out. And I don't know how to restring these things. I'm not good at that kind of stuff. But you can see where it's now. That one's even broken. But it's so pretty. 
but it's all stretched up and broken. This I've had for about 20 years. Love this bracelet. Actually, about 21. I was wearing this the day me and my husband got married. And I have this little pearl bracelet cross, which all this should be silver also needs to be cleaned. So pretty. I have a necklace that matches this. Let's see the next one. This little cute bracelet. Kind of like a pearl in the heart. This is Betsy Johnson. Isn't it cute? I have this bracelet. Let's see, we have this one. We have this. C for my last name. And I have this one has um, little different dimes and stuff in it. My daddy gave me this when I was a teenager. And I've always held on to this for all these years. And I made the mistake years ago putting this in a silver cleaner. That was the worst thing I could have ever done because it turned everything different. But I didn't know any better <laughs> at the time. But it changed its colors completely. I was so upset. But And this one, this one just wraps around. Not sure what that's from. That's not even a bracelet. This is like a cuff bracelet. And then I have this guest bracelet here. It's really pretty. I have this bracelet. Let's see how many times I can say bracelet in this video, y'all. <laughs> I'm getting on my own nerves. <laughs> This one's really pretty. This was another one oh, I ruined. Um, you see the silver. When this goes into the silver cleaner, this is so shiny and pretty when it's out. Like all the silver you see going around these stones. Now, when I did that, the person that made that did not tell me not to do that. <laughs> and I put it in the cleaner and look what happened to the um stone star this one all like it just totally went like like it lost all its shine and everything it's real it's don't even feel the same anymore but it kind of like ate it up but it's just really hard to clean the silver and not put the whole bracelet in there you know and then I have this one. This one's really pretty, but it's a little tight on me, so I don't really wear it. And I have this one. It's a pretty heart. I think this came from Walmart years ago. Another brown beaded. These beaded ones. With all the pretty beads. Beautiful. I have these. These came off QVC. One's like a gold tone, rose tone, and silver. And they stretch. And they're sparkly too if you see them in person. This is an old bracelet, butterfly bracelet um, that came from Guess years and years ago. 
and this is some just little bracelets to just throw on. They were all in a set together. And this old thing, this is probably from, oh my God, 25 years ago or so from an estate sale. It looks awful. I think it had like a little chain there or something that went to the end, through the ends. But, oh Lord, it looks rough. It's one thing about estate sales. Like half the time when you're buying stuff there, when you first get it, you don't know if it's real or not. <laughs> Till later or if you ever find out and these are the Alex and Ani's I think it's called one of these or two I haven't worn yet but some of these have I stopped buying these because they just misshape so easy and see how just nasty color they get I didn't like how they turned out like after you have them for a while but they're really cute on when they're new this one's really pretty. This one came from Ross, I believe. Then this was another one from an estate sale. Many, 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 many years ago. Little, has like little stones hanging from it. And then there's this gold one. I just don't like this shade of gold much. It's just too, I don't know, too gold. I'm just not a gold person. There's another one of these bracelets I went with that. And then this one. This is another one that came from the state so many, many, many years ago. Okay, y'all, I think that is it. Whew, look at that. That's a lot. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank y'all so much for the request. I'm trying to get to everybody's request, so, but please keep them coming. I enjoy doing these videos, and thank you because it gives me ideas for new videos, so I appreciate it so much. And hugs to you all and hope to see you all in my next. Bye-bye.